know we in this thing. Can I, baby, in this thing? What's up, sadness? K, we back in here. K, it's so good. You should be able to cut it up with throwing I want a fucking ton. You know what it is. We talk about some hip hop news ish, but before that, you know what you could do for your boy? Support your boy and help your boy out. But, anyways, young boy, we're here to talk about the developments of his case and we're here to talk about his shit real quick. But before that, like I was saying before, you know, I forgot, you know, I missed, I missed up the structure of this video, you know what I'm saying? I'll be shooting off the hip, nigga. I ain't got no script or whatever. But, anyways. Alright, before that, you know, like, subscribe, share, you know, the same YouTube verbiage you hear from every YouTuber, you know, same YouTube-ish, you know, post notifications, all that-ish, but help your boy out, help your boy grow, if you like anything from this video, you know, hey, help me out, if you want to see all the other shit I do, link in the description, music blog page, Spotify playlist, personal page, if you just want to see how I look, you know, if you just think I'm just arms and a chest, you know, if you want to see the rest, you know, that sounds so bad. That sounds so weird. What the fuck? Personal page is there. Bloody, bloody, blue. I look. I have to start putting the fucking page I made for the YouTube channel in the fucking description. I have to start doing that. Get on my ass about that too. But anyway, yeah, put your shit in the comments if you agree with anything I say in the video. But anyways, or disagree. But anyways, let's get right into this shit. NBA young boy, you know, 38, baby, my man's first of all, free my nigga. He didn't do it, like I say, you know what I'm saying? Deniability until you was proven, you know what I'm saying? You was innocent until you proven guilty, so I don't hear nothing. But anyways, free my man's. But besides that... He got caught up by the feds. Now, like I was saying in the last video, I guess I was running on, you know, with the whole thing uh, alleging that, oh, NBA Pap could have been allegedly involved in the murder of G-Money, you know. The the fed, uh, base him man, like, uh, TBG, Fredo Bang's crew, they had an altercation that one time, I think, in LA at the Rolling Loud thing that took somebody's life. Uh, this him getting arrested when he was doing the music video with like 15 other people. Like, I think fucking Baby Joe, BB Joe, um, BBG Joe. Like, there's just a lot of shit going on with his affiliates and himself and like his ops, I guess. So, and the Fredo banging them that. They were looking into them. Now, I thought the feds was just looking into both groups, both camps there. We looking at you, you top gorillas, and we looking at the young 4KT NBA gang, whatever the fuck y'all call it. At shit, the King Von stuff with Quan, like, you know what I'm saying? So I just thought they was just looking at both sides, but apparently they just want a young boy. Like I said, young boy was out there, he was driving, the feds came for him. He did a day, he did the dash, my nigga. He did the dash in the car. He was skirt, skirt, you know what I'm saying? Shit. We would have had a young boy the race, my nigga. But anyways, he did that shit. Ran off. Apparently, they caught up to him. The nigga ran up on foot like it was a GTA 3 mission. This nigga was scaling fucking fences. This nigga was hopping fences. Nigga was doing hurdles in the Olympics. They had to send the canines. The canines were chasing him. They got the scent of the white Air Force ones, the crisp ones he's always wearing. And they chased him. They chased him. They sniffed the NBA apparel and they knew where he was. And he was jogging. He was running. The dogs behind him. He hid somewhere and sadly they got him. The dogs did not bite him. No shit happened to him. Cool, the Now we thought it was gonna be a Rico case with because of all the shit that's going on around him with his associates and such and such. We think it the worst that this will be a Rico case, like what we seen what happened with Six Nine and what's going on with Casanova. When the feds come for you, they trying to lock your ass up for some bullshit. And wasn't it weird that yo, when they locked up, bro, right? Because, see, the thing with Youngboy is he has a sus uh, suspended sentence of, like, what, 10 years? Because before he really got popping as a rapper, he was allegedly involved in a drive-by shooting, looking for the ops or whatever the fuck. And, yeah, he had a suspended sentence, and he's doing his rap shit. I know, it's fucking weird. I don't know how to get rappers. But, anyways, he kind of got off of that, and he was allowed to move out of Baton Rouge because they didn't want him to get into trouble and all this and that. With all that's happening, I also got to wonder how that's going to affect his case. And will he have to get jail time? Now, basically, it's not a Rico we thought for the worst because all the bullshit is happening and all the stuff he has been involved in. You know, we thought it was a Rico. But besides that, it seems like it's not. Basically, his lawyer, I don't know exactly what they caught him up for, but now it's like a gun charge, a felony gun charge, two felony gun charges. Yeah, and it makes no sense. Now, if what now they were looking at him from what, September because of the music video, which if it is true that he did not have weapons at the time he was just there and listen if you talk about some hood shit you're gonna have motherfuckers in the video you're gonna talk your shit like come on bro like a lot of these rappers do this we're not it happens like i get it yes 
hood hood dude paper i get it he's still on papers they're investigating him but like you can't just be like oh he's shooting a music video and they have guns you know it could be prop like bro what, like you know what i'm saying but hey i digress but anyways i think it's from then and they've been looking into him and all this other stuff been popping no but anyways and it's just fucked up because if he wasn't there and he didn't have guns, who knows? And honestly, I don't know when he ran from the car if the, if the guns were registered to him or not. Or if he just had them. Now, they got some guns and them shits look like some army bullshit. I ain't gonna cap to you. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap. Them look like some army bullshit. This nigga looks like an ammunition out of GTA. I don't know if that's where he was running to when he was hopping the fences. I don't know where the fuck he was going. The fact this nigga was, was out running these motherfuckers in skinny jeans is amazing to me. I st uh, Bruh. I'll oh, type them skinny jeans be these rappers be wearing. And the fact that motherfucker was all running that nigga and hopping fence. Oh my goodness. This motherfucker, this motherfucker should have been on the track team. This nigga could be in the Olympics. He running like Usain Bolt. You know, fuck Andre the Grass. And be a young boy. Kentrell. Kentrell would be a fucking road champion. But in all seriousness, we got to um, ascertain this now. Um... With these felony uh, federal gun charges, he could face up to five to ten years. I'm hoping is the latter, and he gets five if he can. If and maybe they could work some shit out. The deal comes down, but yeah, that's what it is right now. And I just gotta pray my nigga get out because I fuck with him. I fuck with the music. We, I do see him trying to get better, but there's also bullshit again. If somebody tries to take me, I'm not gonna let you take me. I am not condoning the behavior, but I can understand the mind state. If somebody is trying to take my life, I refuse to let that happen, and I'm busting shots at you because I know we had beef from back then, and I have weapons just in case you try to pull something on me. I understand. I'm not saying that's the greatest way to live your life, no, but I understand. You trying to be careful because you are the meal ticket for your family and you're supporting various people. And you personally don't want to die. So it's like, it's, it's just whatever, bro. It's just what It's crazy. It's crazy. All I thought young boy was going to do was get a new chick. Get her ass pregnant. Have like 20 baby mamas by the time he's 30. And call it a day, my nigga. Call it a day. But the fact like he getting locked up like this is just ridiculous. Really ridiculous at this point i just don't know i hope it's the latter i, ho I hope they beat the gate <laughs> beat the gate and they get out that jam i'm just really worried about the other um his probation or his concur i don't know if it's running concurrently as how many time how much time he does on his probation will his sentence be done i don't know but like if that's still going on but yeah it's suspended so i'm just like how the fuck does this shit work it's suspended so it's on hold isn't it so I don't know if with all the shit that's going on with him, they're going to bring that up. I don't know if he finished it because I remember, yeah, because I remember he got off probation to the sense that he can move out of Baton Rouge, but I don't know if they took that away from, I just don't know, bro. But hopefully my nigga get out the jam and it's just crazy, bro. It honestly is, bro. I just hope he gets out the jam and everything works out for him. That, that's my dude. I really fuck with my nigga music, you know what I'm saying? And honestly... You come up on the block, you, you kind of know niggas like that. You just want everybody to win to keep it above, man. But yeah, shout out my nigga NBM. But by the way, Wendy Williams is... I fuck with Wendy Williams. When it comes to hood nigga shit, just shut up, please. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, if it's some hood nigga shit, please. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I guess I understand it's, uh, it's gossip shit. But why are you going to judge this man's character and... Number one, you don't know the full situation. Now, if you think it's stupid because he's doing some hood nigga shit, oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm not here to argue with you. But you kind of like uh, joking about the situation? No. No. Yes, you might not pr like this man particularly or you might think he's dumb or whatever. You got to also understand he supports a lot of people in his family, his friends around him and such and such like that. I'm not condoning his actions, but you making light of it because you just think he's stupid or whatever... It's not any better to keep it a book. I know you're doing it for your show. You're getting your paper. I respect that, but still, it's not better. So when Boosie and them is coming at you and kind of disrespecting you, okay, that's their opinion. Just like you had yours, bro. Don't bring that. Sh don't bring it out. And then when somebody try to talk to you a certain way, look at them like, why are you talking to me this crazy? You can't do that. Also, yeah, that's all I got to say. I said this in the video before, like Kodak and Jack Boys talking some shit. I'm like, I don't know where the fuck this is going to end. But hey, it is what it is. Like I said before, free my nigga, young boy. That's my, that's my guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm part of the fucking baby fan club and the young boy, little baby fan club and the young boy fan club. Ain't this a bitch? 
Anyways, man, I'm off of this thing. Free young boy. I think Cap still in jail, so free no Cap. And yeah, <laughs> let's get this shit busting. But yeah, if you like anything I have to say, or you like the way I deliver the show, for anything, for whatever purpose I served to you today, for you clicking on this video, if I can give you a little information, like, subscribe, share, help your boy, help your boy grow, and I'm off of this thing. You know what it is, it's K.A. Have a blessed day. Slime Zoom, peace, y'all. Elsh, gang. All right.